we begin in the classroom of Chance Bannister. He's having a little chat with one of his students, Agave Nectar, because of the report she turned in that had no words in it. <laughs>
some relatives aren't the best people to visit you when you're in the insane asylum. Anyway, let's go to Chip Cherney, who's having a bad day down in the parking garage. Unfortunately, he's about to run into Garth Spader, the mean people.
You're my best friend's love, and then I fell in love with you, and, and then the janitor broke my other owl. Oh. Chip, you have to understand, it was nothing personal against you. I know, it was nothing personal. Thank <laughs> you. 
the roof. Almost two stories it was. I don't know, but I do. Okay. <laughs> She's going to a secret location. What is the secret location? What is the secret location? Tell me! Find a PE teacher. Wow, that was weird. I have nothing to say about that. Alright, let's go back down to Heidi in the lunchroom. Agabi is having some trouble reading the lunch menu. something unforgivable. That doesn't sound like her. I mean, sure, she made fun of me. She spat at me. She slept with other people. Well, I've done that. I mean, made fun of you, spat at you, and slept with other people. Of course, of course. <laughs> I have reason to believe 
that she might have something to do with Conrad. Really? You think she had something to do with Conrad dying? Everybody thought that was a suicide. I think, I can't even believe it, but I think she might have pushed him. And it wasn't Rosemary. Really? That's very interesting, Stanley. So, what are you going to do about it? What I usually do, absolutely nothing productive. <laughs> now, Stanley. Oh, look at me. I'm a mess. You are. I okay. ruined my life. I have a horrible, shitty job. And you're my boss. <laughs> well, technically, I'm the vice principal now, but... You're splitting hairs now. What are we going to do? Well, I'll tell you what. If somebody had killed my mentor, my best friend, former English teacher all students love, and I'd have a feeling inside of me. Yeah? You know, you know what feeling I'm talking about? I thought that was the booze. Yeah. You feel it? Tell me more about the feeling. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like an anger, isn't it? Is it itchy? Sure, sure, it can be itchy. I get angry when I get itchy. Does it burn? <laughs> could burn, could burn. Is it a feeling so cold and so deep in your heart that you could do almost anything? Definitely, it's definitely that. So what are you gonna do, Stanley? I'm gonna cure that feeling. Well, I think you should. The door's wide open. Coming through it. Wow, I wonder if the vice principal will send anyone else to kill Nancy. Anyway, Debbie's looking for Chip, but instead, she runs into Chance. Come in, moron. 
Oh, hello, Garg. Oh, hello. <laughs> Jackass. Oh, oh, really? Well, I. Oh, God. Do you like my new sneakers? I. I do like them. I. I would like them back, even. And. I. I came here to. <laughs> to teach you a lesson? <laughs> really? Yes! I'm here! You in what army, Duke? God, I suspect that I might find you at your house! <laughs> <laughs> you know I should start I'm, locking the doors? I am looking for you! I am burning with a rage that I've never felt before! I am going to teach you a lesson! You are going to tell me where Nancy Napoleon is, or else, my God, I will so help me, I will. Oh, oh crap. Okay. Oh, so my arm isn't so big. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. That's too. Seemed so happy when I hired him back. Oh, I was happy when you hired him back, and I was sad when you fired him. And now I'm sad again because he broke my little heart into little tight pieces. Well, gosh, I mean, you seemed so forgiving of him before when I showed you that tape of him having sex with Rosemary. I, oh, stop! I kind of figured nothing could break that bond if you went back to him. Well, something 
did break that wand. And unfortunately, it was probably my fault. I probably jumped the gun and made a mistake, and now I made a mess of everything, and now I can never have him back. There, there, Debbie. Now, I know you've been through a lot, and your poor heart is probably bouncing back and forth and back and forth. But I just want you to know that your principal, well, your vice principal, yeah. he's here for you. I hired you, and I stand behind you. That really means a lot to me. To know that I have a friend here, somebody that I can really confide in and talk to and share my thoughts and feelings with. Well, I am that person, and I, I promise you I'll never betray that trust. No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. So what should I do now? Now that I'm distraught and in despair? Well, you sure it's despair you're feeling there? <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course it's despair. Well, what else would it be? Well, now, I mean, if somebody betrayed my trust in a sexual way, I, I, I'd be angry. <laughs> you sure you don't feel anger? Yes. A little bit? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, yeah. I'm starting to feel really angry. Yeah, I mean, you betrayed your heart twice. Once on videotape. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. He did. I'm, 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 I'm so angry at him right now. I could just. Of course you are. You're justified in feeling that way. I could just scream right now, and I could almost run into the arms of another man. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, that's quite a, quite a thing to say. But if you needed some arms to run into, I suppose, I do. You're not gonna, you're not gonna hurt me like he did, will you? Oh, of course not. I would never do that to you, Deb. You're so sweet and understanding. <laughs> So this is the last one. It will prove everything. It starts with "Call me Ishmael." See? See? Call me Ishmael. Ah! Agave, you are my most incredible, brilliant accomplishment of the world. I, you are like a meatloaf that I have shaped into brilliant beef strong enough. That is what you are. I believe I heard my two favorite things. Who in the literature? Yeah. 
again. How could you put a price tag on someone's life? How could you do that? How could I not? <laughs> Everybody's got a price. And that was mine. A little money's gonna go to a few people. Mama! I know that voice. That's a voice of your own flesh and blood. Your own flesh and blood! Did you put in an insane asylum? Hi, Mama. Hi, darling. Mama loves me. That's not the response I was expecting. <laughs> Don't you see? It's not your fault. It's your sister's fault. What? Rosemary. If you could hear me inside, you're the only one. You're the only one that could prove that it wasn't you that pushed Conrad. No, Mama. Mama will only love me if my Mama. You'll only love me if I kill people. I only love you if you kill people. Husky girls kill. Husky Stop it. Girls kill. Husky girls kill. Listen, Husky listen. Kills kill. Your mom's not here right now. I'm your only Mama right now. Mama needs the truth. Mama always wanted the truth. Goodbye, Stanley. Now tell me, who killed Conrad? Secrets, Rosemary. Secrets. It was Lance.